Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. I am here with the console guy and Bad Josh. Hello. So we I'm here too. <laughs> doing another episode of the Westburn Studios talk. This time it's gonna be different. Um we will specifically for this episode we are gonna actually do a mix between a update and a podcast kind of thing. But for future ones, we're going to focus more on, you know, being more of a talk show, interviewing people, etc, etc. This is not to steal the light from the VR cast. In fact, we can give a shout out to them because they're kind of like, they have like, going live three going or four of our members. Yeah. Uh, they are going live, but they're going to be going live in the past for when this is uploaded, so there's no point us yes. saying that. Um, <laughs> So, um, this basically, yeah, we're doing Whisper and Studios talk. I'm here, Dan again, and Bad Josh. Um, I don't know why I had to repeat Thank that you. part. Um, yeah. so I kind of got, yeah, you I like basically got the of that idea, so, um, <laughs> do you guys have any comments on it? Totally non scripted. <laughs> 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 Dan? Right. I don't think Dan's listening to us. <laughs> I think I'm No, I'm here. I'm just. I'm here. I'm just. I'm waiting until we start actually covering some of our topics before I start talking. Alright, then I'll move into. Stranded. Oh, you kidding me? <laughs> Introduction, take that off the list. What's next? Uh, we did, I basically did a combination of topics in Western Series talk and one thing, so. We're on to Stranded, the topic of Stranded, so. Obviously, our four of us are in Stranded as well as Witcher, but. I think we all have equal, uh, voices in this topic, right? Stranded is hard. What's it's not hard, you just don't know how to build a fence. <laughs> I, I'm on mobile, actually, no. When I built that fence, I'd freshly come out of fucking up my wrist. Leave me alone. Okay, well, still, it will forever be documented as Josh's fucked up fence. Alright, uh, yeah. I know. <laughs> In every thumbnail now, it's been in three. <laughs> that was fucking, like, fucking demonic fucking thumbnail. Anyways. <laughs> you put, like, eight filters on. It's like if I went through a, an emo fence. <laughs> Anyways, what is yeah. it? We're, we're thinking about are we gonna do like a couple more before we start going into another series, right? So my plan is we're gonna do about either ten to twenty episodes of Stranded. Then I'm gonna leave like a gap between Stranded and the next series to kind of give time for Quicker and Bat Josh and the other two to start, you know, making their content. So, and get everyone up to speed. That's a spoiler for later on in this talk show, but... <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. Foreshadowing. Yeah, so, uh... There's gonna be stuff going on between Stranded in the next series. But I do have a plan for the title, plan for what's gonna happen. So, and I also have a plan for the series after that, so we have the Minecraft era, or the Minecraft content pre-planned except for maybe five and six seasons, but... Oh well. So, do you guys have anything else to say about that, or...? No, I mean, that's pretty on the dot. Like, we're gonna finish off Stranded and then go into a series that technically ties into Stranded, but it's, like, more detailed. Alright, Bad Josh, what about you? More scripted. <laughs> the... On the podcast. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay. You knew it was coming. So, oh, shit. next one, I take it to Planet Tear, which. Fuck you, Toronto. <laughs> Bad Josh already had a bad history, but he was. Yo, I'm gonna serious. be honest. I'm gonna be honest. If you say it's my fault, I'm gonna stab you. 
No, 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 no. I feel lost because like everyone else goes and they have like a plan and shit, and then I'm just stuck building because I don't know what's going on and I don't know where to go and everything wants me dead. I don't think you were in either of those two episodes that's been recorded. Not the recent ones, no, but the times that I've been in Planet Terror, I've just been like, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. We've had scripted planes recently. The problem is, every time we record, nobody's there. <laughs> like last time, it was just me and Wicker. Okay? Like we had all the other members who were supposed to be there. I'm and... sorry. I was not home. I don't know, man. I'm gonna be <laughs> honest. Like, this might, this might <clears throat> get some people to be like, yo, why the fuck did you say that? But I just, I don't know. I, some about Terraria, I just, I don't like playing it. I, it's, it's fun and all. Like, I get it. Like, what it's supposed to be and stuff. I kind of don't like it slash understand it completely. There's a lot that's to the explain because unlike Minecraft, there's a lot more complex. Right, right. and that's the thing. That's the thing. Minecraft is an easy pick up and play thing, which is why I think I enjoy that series because it's literally I flick it on and I'm like, oh, I get it. The build, survive, mine, try to reach the end, defeat the dragon, and game over. Avoid the reapers. <laughs> but Terraria is like. <laughs> There's all these sub bosses and there's a fucking. It's more complicated. Also, than like, you have to do these things in specific order. I'm like, I like, A storyline, <laughs> as confirmed by the creators, it's a storyline. It's like. Right, but that's the, that's the thing, though, is like, I don't understand the storyline and there's no real, like, guide to point you to the, where you need to go. And that's the. There thing, is a guide, like, it's just that we haven't shown you it. I know, and that's the thing, is, like, you guys just leave me out in the dark and make me do shit. Like, when we fought the, what is it, the, the, the fucking skull with the fucking giant arms and shit? No one told me- <laughs> okay, so you missed what? There's, there's the just the a boss. thing. You were, uh, what, MIA during the two weeks, we were, like, going really quickly on drugs. Oh, yeah, I think that was when I, I took off for a bit to do something. Oh, uh, we invited our friend Skeletron, who- Shot the series to from pre hard mode to fucking we were the, about to fight Plant Terror or whatever. <laughs> Alright, well, I think we covered Terraria long enough. Uh, no next. time to cover it. Next one is the Phoenix SMP. It's probably gonna be a short one because very responsible. Uh, basically, some stuff happened with. Kowalski, the person who hosts the server, so there was only one episode recorded. Uh, there are some streams from Lewis and Bat Josh, I think. But yeah, yeah, that, there were some streams. There was you recorded the episode, and while I was just dicking around, I didn't even realize you were recording. <laughs> There's also stuff from Conan, I think you streamed it. Oh, yeah. I can't remember that other people were streaming it. It's been a while. That one, well. Oh, no. <laughs> So, and just to be clear, the, the, the Phoenix SMP was the, not the Java, Java edition. edition. Oh, it was the Java edition, okay. Yeah, it was the Java edition SMP run by Get Run Servers that well in Bedrock. So, most well, of the people I, I know have Java edition. I want to get a Realm because then we could all plug in whenever we need to, but I haven't got a chance. Not expensive, they're only like seven bucks a month. Yeah. Which is like barely a dent in my paycheck, so I might. That might be a potential thing that happens, is I might open up a, a room. Completely off topic, but I'm sitting on a Scott lead and I don't know where it came from. A what now? <laughs> a Scott lead. Do you remember those things? No. It's like a video cable before HDMI, before VGA, and it's ancient. <laughs> oh, it's in the photo. I don't know where it came from. It's just here, and I'm sitting on it. Alright. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Well, no, I was just, I was curious because I was like, I don't think I've ever heard of one of those before. <laughs> well, 
Yes, would you like to weigh in on the situation? What's going on here? I don't know. You got this godly. Do we have that, Josh? Sorry, that was work. He's sitting on something. Anyways, let's. We'll we get distracted. Back to. Back to. Uh, so, the next topic is draw, kill, attack. Great. Uh, so, yeah, that's probably my topic, sorry. Uh. So, when it comes to draw, kill, attack, I'm not as motivated in the series. You know, like, fucking FNAF. I used to play a lot when I was, like, into watching the videos, doing this and that, you know, I was interactive with that community, you know, it, back in the day, it was, like, the shit. <laughs> For me, at least. Dan and Josh Target. probably not. Right. You, you found the target, you found the target market when FNAF was... Uh, big. I mean, it it's still big just now, but target for me to be like famous for. In fact, the plan for Dracula never was to blow up. The plan was for it to be like I wanted to make. This. I didn't care about what was going to be the result. So the blowing right. up thing came at me as by surprise. Right, but I think it was just good timing because that was when FNAF was also kind of blowing up. I mean, it's still pretty popular now with. Uh... The FNAF VR 2, or Help Wanted 2, whatever it's going to be called. Uh, They're working on a second one. There's been hints that there's uh, a second one. We in do, the game. in fact, have a member, I'm not going to reveal their name, but we have a member in the crew that is a FNAF fan, and I'm going to take advice from them. In fact, I have a plan right. for what to do before Draw Kill Attack comes out. I think Danny saw the screenshot I sent you. I'm not sure. I, I think so. I think you sent me. Yeah, I'm gonna have a member who's gonna kind of like bring us back into that community, in which yeah. then eventually I'll get back into animating it and things are gonna get back in track in that right. area. But for now, right. So, so I guess the best way to break it down is draw, kill, attack will be coming back, but not full force yet. Yeah. So just say for now it's temporarily canceled, even though I had a plan to release it now. Just need time to re. There's a temporary break. break. Yeah, there's a temporary break. Um, then there is the remastered version of the series. Which, yeah, the situation's the same with that. <laughs> temporary yeah, I break. Mean, they can, yeah, they can be wrapped up together. It's, <coughs> it's, it's two drunk They're two different series by my standards, but I guess you guys could say it's the same series. Just once more. I mean, it's, it's the same, I guess, not same series, but it's the same brand or whatever you want yeah. to call it. Like, it's draw kill. So, moving on from draw kill, we have my series that I'm making. Just gonna be on me again. Uh, this is the a day in the life of a mute. The series that's primarily on the chat. So, before Alternate title: Wes watches people in VR chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I've watched. It's actually so, CCTV first, cameras. The first episode, just like with the fucking West Wing series, Winston, there was no real vision. <laughs> uh, it just kind of happened. But then, when it came to the second one, I kind of had the idea of, oh yeah, this is gonna happen, I could have this. And I'm making, like, the character in it, the mute character, I'm naming it, like, I'm making it like its own persona, its own, giving its own life to it, so. It's style, like you heard the music in it, it was different, it was unique, it was, you know, it wasn't me, it was this character, you know? Yeah, it's, it's a, this is the mute that's part of the channel. <laughs> it's almost like its own segment in a way. I'm thinking of expanding the series from VR chat and making the character slowly develop into its own, <coughs> right. you know, I don't know how to explain it, segment system in, in a way. Sub-segment, I don't know you would call it. Right. Basically a persona, but... Yeah, I have other plans with other personas I'm creating for this, my, this, my like, segment, own segment on the show, so... Right. I ha I'm not gonna describe them, because I can't remember what they all are, but... They are being made, and it's probably gonna be a lot more, you know, characters in the channel. Right. So... 
That's all I have for the day in the last minute. Do you guys have any questions or anything? Um, comments? Not really. I mean, it's pretty explained within the title. It's, it's the day in the life of a mute who's not actually a mute. <laughs> welcome Buddy, to. You betcha. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you, do you have any comments on? Nope. Alright. So, I guess we can move on to the next one. Bendy in the ink. I've never heard of this. This name sounds it's amazing. An old but unfortunately, it's we never like we never <laughs> did anything about it. It's just that we kind of went in and what is it? We got like through like three three chapters, right? Yeah, and then, then we stopped. never we never did the other two. Yeah, we just suddenly stopped. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna plan on doing that. Play it. I'd backseat game in a Discord call. Yeah, I, and my mm -hmm. video card probably won't support that anymore. So <laughs> if we want to do that, it would implode. It was slightly infamous for me. I think one episode I ate <laughs> popcorn throughout the whole time. <laughs> this is also the one time we saw Boris's nose or head or mouth on the fucking thing, and you're like thinking it was, you know. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> that was an interesting series. <laughs> yeah, I saw so much of Pervert Daddy. <laughs> um, so, I don't all we need to know is the series is canceled. Canceled! <laughs> like I in wouldn't it. mind. Okay, can I? I'm gonna put my two cents in. I wouldn't mind <laughs> if we eventually upgraded our equipment to do a Bendy and the Machine run. But like all the way through in like a supercut type of thing. Mm -hmm. Every chapter and put it into one episode. I wouldn't mind doing a Bendy and the Ink Machine like supercut where like we just do all five chapters and then put the best parts of all the chapters into one. Because oh. the game's the game's old. It's what you call like a live stream and then it's Sorry. No, I was just saying like we just play one through five and just do a super cut where we take all of the recording and just clip the good shit. Maybe. I'll think about What I was gonna do with my super spleef episode before I left over. Nor <clears throat> fuck about it. Yeah, that reminds me. I had the idea of Benny. Completely forgot about that too. Uh, there was like this animation that I dropped at one point called... Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I just didn't do anything about that. So, uh, consider that short cancelled as well. <laughs> There's nothing gonna happen there. <laughs> um, I think we can move on to uh, the next one, Outer Worlds. I'm gonna talk for a while now because this involves me. Um, so Outer Worlds, uh, it was a series that I was doing I had a buddy named Ryan, we were going to do a series of Outer Worlds, and uh, a couple things happened. One, I wasn't satisfied with what I was releasing, so I kind of cut it because I was like, this isn't something that I felt proud of making, it was just kind of thrown together. Two, me and Ryan, uh, beforehand, and it just, it wasn't, it didn't feel, like, uh, organic. Like, it felt like I was just forcing someone to come onto the show, and I need... The thing is, if I was going to do a Let's Play, which I've realized now, is I need, like, that organic type of friendship, or, like, that, that connection to do a Let's Play. Which is why, if you guys watch me on Twitch and stuff, I haven't Twitched... I haven't Twitched. That sounds stupid. I haven't live-streamed in a while, and... But, um... There'll be more to what I was about to say in a bit. I'm not going to bring it up now because it's not the topic we're on. But for now, Outer Worlds is dead. It's canceled. Um, I just, I didn't feel proud about releasing it because, like, I didn't put any quality into it. It was just kind of like, I need to make something. And me and my co-host just, I don't know, there wasn't, there wasn't that connection that I wanted. Like, if I was going to do something for a while, I need somebody that over again it would still be fun 
that one just felt like it was awkward. I felt like he didn't feel like he was into it. I wasn't into it. It was just, it was bad. So yeah, the uh, final say, out of worlds, unless I use it for something else, it won't be coming back. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying is turn, but at the current moment, Outer Worlds as a Let's Play series is is done. Josh, do you have any thoughts on it? Nope. <laughs> I have not totally seen not the there. series. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. Do I get to yell cancelled though? Fuck it, go for it. <laughs> cancelled! <laughs> I feel like a fucking audio guy, like, even when he's not here, we have like the soundboard. Fucking up Josh, every oh time you do a talk show. <laughs> oh, dude, I'd love, I'd love it to get like an actual like soundboard thing just to have one button that just says, that's just Josh screaming, <laughs> and I just click it. Cancel! <laughs> I, 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 would, I had that set up on my PC of uh, clips no, of me and Dylan. No, I want to get, like, like, get like an actual like board though. An actual board? Fuck it. Do it. Like, I'll, I'll give you recordings if you want. Like, I want to get one of those... <laughs> ...board slash, like, like, like cheat sheet board. There's also a sound pad. Right. I was just saying, I want, like, I have that as well. Ones. Anyways. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, Next topic is heavy rain. We can't really say much about it because Lewis is in Lewis. here. Lewis is here, and he's not here. He's, he's been doing a different podcast. <laughs> his editor is supposed to be working on part two of that, and I have no idea what's going on. I have they have not said a single thing to me. Yeah. I think they completely forgot they weren't even on the show. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, there might not be a video from Lewis for a while. So the best way to put it is, we're kind of like in a symbiotic relationship with Lewis, where he's allowed to upload to our channel, but we're not gonna like pressure him. It's more of a if you want to put your shit on our channel, we can allow it, but we're not gonna like come up to your door and be like, "Hey, bud, upload time." Okay, rephrase. You two on, I might. <laughs> 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 Give me an excuse to see him. No, I'm joking. Hush. Moving on, please. What are you doing, Josh? Asking you to please move on. <laughs> 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 What, what happened? I, I didn't pay attention to what he said. I have no idea, man. I'm just like... <laughs> I feel like Josh says Josh stupid stuff by accident and like none of us notice, but he still freaks out. Josh is on a whole new level right now. We just let him kind of exist just like how I know. Alright, so... I'm ill, so I can't fucking focus on anything. <laughs> we have... The next topic. My love is gone weird. We have the next. We have the <laughs> next topic. <laughs> so, we have the next topic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, he's just going nuts. Okay. I'm calm. Calm. Alright. <laughs> so, uh, the next topic, uh, is upcoming series, so, uh, we have, I have a secret one that I think only you two know about, I don't know if you guys don't say anything about it, but I'm pretty sure I'm with you two of the ones who sent me it. Hmm. Let me give you a hint. I'm trying to remember it. <laughs> Um, what? Take fire. You know. Is that good? 
Hold on. What was what was the thing that you were referencing at? Because you sent me a lot of series, stuff. But I, I can't say it out loud because it's, it's a secret series. Or upcoming secret one, so I'll just DM the title. I chat, but don't say it out loud. Did you send me like a clip of something for it too? Yeah. Because I, I think I maybe... Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I know yeah. what you're talking about though. Yeah, so we have that one coming up. I've had the first episode recorded and edited and just waiting for oh. time to release like a trailer for it yeah. with a date. So yeah. it's like pre-prepared and then drop it. Um, I would like to announce a potential project coming up. It's in the works. I, I'm still, like, thinking about making it because I don't know, like, if I want to do it because if I started it, it would be kind of taxing because um, it would be a mixture of gameplay and real life. I take inspiration from uh, Angry Video Game Nerd, uh, Kid Icarus, John Tron, that type of stuff. I want to do a series where, like, I play a game, preferably an indie game or a AAA title that got, like, super explosive. Like, like uh, at the current moment, like, Cyberpunk 2077. And then I do, like, a part review, part kind of, like, joke skit type thing with it. And just kind of give, like, my personal... I prefer to choose a lot of indie games because indie games don't get a lot of traction. So anything that I see that's kind of like an obscure title, like on the Xbox Game Pass, or like if I look at the new games in the Xbox, I see something that's like, dude, what the fuck is this? It's only like five bucks. Um, and it's kind of, you know, like maybe they do have a following and I don't know about it, but like give it more light, even though I know we don't have a huge traction what i do is i want to play something that i've never played before record some clips and stuff like beat it and then give my own personal like intake on it so <laughs> that then people could be like oh you know this is like the average gamer review because all the reviews you get are normally like people that are either super into games or people that are like games are terrible and you get two specific reviews, which is this game's amazing, play it for these reasons, or I want to be kind of that bipartisan kind of like, if you're not a gamer, this ain't gonna be good for you, but if you are a gamer, this will be good for you. Like, kind of like, be the middleman. So, like, people that aren't like, because like, I'll put myself as like, I, I play a lot of games. I mean, fuck, I just reached, uh, a six-digit gamer score, like, last month. But, um... I guess it would be, it'd be kind of like, if you're a casual gamer, down for, like, a bunch of hours, I could give you a review on that. But if you are someone that's planning on plugging away, you know, 20, 30-plus hours within a sit-down session, then I can also give you the view on that. So, like, you kind of get, like, a middle ground. I think there was another. I think Lewis was working on a theory, or just recorded not like a stream series of Day by Deadlight. <laughs> Dead by Daylight. Wait, no. Yeah, that. <laughs> Day by Deadlight. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused about that. What is it actually called? It's Dead, it's Dead by Daylight. I just go full. Dead by Daylight. The Lexic. Oh, God. It's Dang I've, I've, like, no. I've played it. I, I like it if you play it with a group of friends. Yeah, I, they gifted me the game. I just haven't. I've only played it once though. Uh, it's, you know, if it's cross-platform, I'd be down for doing like a like a group. You I think it is Venom and Jake's Hall Crew. I, I've played it, and it's not bad as long as you play with people that aren't trying to play it competitively. Like, if you go into, like, quick match, it's it's not fun because everyone's, like, super competitive. But if you play with friends and you just mess around in it, it's actually kind of fun. Same with Friday the 13th. 
I didn't really like Friday the 13th. Okay, the best way to put it is Dead by Daylight is short, quick matches of asymmetric survival where you just have to get the generators open and run or just die. Friday the 13th, you could try to play a game for 10 minutes and end up playing a session for like 40 to 50 minutes because the killer can't. There's like 800 different ways you can escape as a survivor, but the map's massive. Like, Friday the 13th is a good long play, but if you're like me, where like I have a hectic five person family, Dead by Daylight's nice because you get all of that experience, but combined into like a really tight package. All right, I got you. Also, um, excuse me for a split sec. I go to do something, so I will be right back. So I'll still be in the. You want to continue? I'm going to be quiet for a little bit. You want to continue while you're. I mean, the next few things don't really concern me. I was going to say, you guys can continue. I just, I got to do something real quick. So. Moving on to the next major topic, we have our progress. Holy crap, my mic is unstable right now. Me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so our first major thing that's going on is our trap network, which we mentioned in the last update video. Um, we have both Barry Arts and trap networks is like kind of like partners. Uh, trap network shut down. And we kind of merged what, what was left into kind of like a networking branch in our crew. But there hasn't been much in, much in that area right recently, so... I don't know what to do about that. Um, there's also... Actually, do you want to have any comments on the, the trap network thing? That job? Mm -hmm. I wasn't really involved in that. I was When I joined, it was just closing down anyway, so... Then well. we have the, an update on the YouTube crew. So, we could have just received a whole bunch of people. Like, we were struggling to get people into the crew in the past, and suddenly, the doggy, Boom, cool people. <laughs> bard, or, or artistic bard, Wicker Kit, who is, all three of those have been in our videos, as well as Bad Josh right here. Come here. So, yeah, I think we've had all of them in a video previously. If not, I know that Hit Doggy is going to be in a video before this podcast uploaded. Uh, if you miss it, it's in the Gary Spawn video that is going to come out I think a week before this podcast, or two weeks. I'm not sure. I don't have it fully planned out. We've got even had the new series that I haven't, the, the one with the involving fire before the podcast, which would make the whole hiding th it thing useless, but who knows. No. So yeah, like we said before, Lewis is still in the crew. Uh, Matt Josh, do you have any comments on the YouTube crew, or do you want to talk about your segment, or what do you plan to do? On the YouTube crew? Um, yeah, new members. I do have a thing which I was planning on doing ages ago, which was just like a little highlights of the New Year streaming thing before I had loads of issues with the PC. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll keep Terraria. Oh well. I'm gonna try to fix that soon. Anything else to do with YouTube? Nope. Um, I think we could. I know your computer is gonna have I'm sure you don't have like an introduction video to your second you are thinking of. Uh fuck. at the moment, no, because now I'm on the spot. Help. Oh my God. The, <laughs> the, next, uh, the interview, because we're going to do interviews of each member, at least the ones who. Yeah, can you send me a script of what the questions are going to be so I can go with answers? I could, but I mean, it, it's kind of like bent on what you've done or what you think you might do, whatever. Like, you could do, for example, right. engraving videos where you kind of have your stream archives of you engraving like a project and like you have a speed up and you can explain how you do it, maybe? Yes, I did want to do that. I did. You could I also have, have 
you know, maybe yeah. maybe use the speed ups of the works and maybe add some commentary about something else, but use that as like the background. Oh yeah, yeah. You could also, you could, yeah, you could do a lot of things with speed up the clips of you making the engraving. I, I could think. do lots of things. Time, um, you also do gameplay, so obviously that could be a potential thing. There's a whole bunch of things you could yeah. come up with because. Because you do art, you have that open door of all this other stuff you could potentially do. <laughs> Whereas, mm. for example, Wicker, you could just do gameplay. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm just held up in the basement fucking engraving. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's upstairs playing their game. <laughs> so I don't know if you uh... Just every now and then there's the occasional, occasional yell as I burn myself. <laughs> So I don't know if you do voice acting or anything, would you? I would love to. Yeah, that could be an open potential thing. I don't know, it would be in your segment, but... Let's say, for example, Artistic, artistic Bar, who I believe draws, but I'm not sure if she does. Uh, she, uh... If she does draw, she could also she could draw comics like we had our one of our old members do, and we can actually have a recording of all of us voice acting the scenes in the comic. Alright. Oh, that sounds like fun. potential thing to do. <laughs> So, if, uh, Bar, if you're listening, think about that. <laughs> <laughs> think about that. We don't have any weapons pointed at you. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> of all of us, you'll get us, like, sued by the fucking government. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, Bard, Scotland ain't that far from me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot. I just found out that Scotland was actually right on the same island as uh, the UK. <laughs> I didn't know my geography before, so I thought it was somewhere else. So I'm looking around the whole map like, where the fuck is uh, fuck that place? I am so proud of you, Wes. <laughs> so apparently the uh, coronavirus map doesn't actually show. It doesn't show Scotland or Wales. Shows, it, it shows England, Scotland, and Wales as one, as UK. It's because the United Kingdom is one giant place, huh? In, I thought mm -hmm. the United Kingdom was always England. So... No, that was, was the other thing. Uh, Great, Great, Britain. Britain. Great Britain's England. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I think we should move on to the next. <laughs> now that you've embarrassed yourself. <laughs> so, uh... On to the Twitch branch, we have, well, actually, I should explain what it is. So, in between the last update video and this update video, which I think the last update video was still in December, um, we've developed a Twitch branch, which is basically a crew of Twitch streamers on our channel. Hello, Dan, welcome back. So, the Twitch streamers are all on their own, like, Twitch channels, and making their own, like, live streams and such, but they're under our, kind of, like, collective. There are future plans to bring them into our larger plan, which we have a project I call Shadowrun Production, which is something that's actually been worked on since uh, 2015, actually. Oh, so, dude, my timing is perfect. I came back when you started talking about something that I'm involved in. Yes! So, Shadowrun Productions is basically, like... Well, we had changes in what it was. Originally, it was going to be, like, a network, and it was going to be this and that, but... The main idea is Shadow and Productions is going to be a business or a holding company, and then we're going to have a media label part of it, which will move the Twitch people as well as have like a YouTube part of it where people have their own YouTube channel. And you want to say something? Again? Yeah, because I'm finally back. Sorry. Um, uh, <laughs> what was I going to say? So. Shadowburn Productions, uh, to I guess give some type of relevancy to something that already exists. Oh. Sorry, give me a second. Kind of how nice. someone's like, resting. Uh, I'm trying to think. Like maybe like Rooster Teeth is the best way to describe it. Is like Rooster Teeth has multiple different sub branches. Like they have their Ruby team that makes the Ruby animation. They have Achievement Hunter, which is the gaming section. I don't know if they have a music branch or something like that, but but they're all under the the, the Rooster Teeth kind of banner, and that's kind of a, I guess we're kind of shooting for it, we're like, shout like, 
if you searched it up, like all of these subdivisions would be under. But the subdivisions would be like a gaming kind of group, which is all like the Twitch people, the people who do Let's Plays and that type of stuff. Maybe like an art artist group that does like animation and like they sell art and they kind of do like all the shirts and stuff. Maybe a music group where we have people who produce music and that type of stuff. And I feel like Shadowbind Productions would be also synonymous with like our live action stuff. So like and stuff would technically be under Shadow Brand Productions instead of under like like a, like a West Brand Gaming or something. If we ever figured out the names, so basically West Brand Gaming or West Brand Studios actually would be part of Shadow Production. It would be like a major portion of it. Right, right, right. I, yeah, sorry, but I it won't be like the actual. But, but pretty much there will be one giant flagship name that we all go under, and then. Yeah. Be some... There could also be potentially a <laughs> game development. Yeah, that'd be part of the gaming branch. They'd be, they'd be in there. It isn't like the gaming branch, the music branch, and stuff like that. Like, it's more of, there's this media label, which is like all media types. Let's say Twitch, YouTube, music, right. gaming, all that. It's all under one like the media label then there's other parts where we could get stuff in and maybe buy actual smaller companies that like for example we could get bash Josh's bounty arts if he loves us we can have that part of his subsidiary maybe have a part of it i'm not sure if you said part. if i let you or if i love you sorry let you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. i don't know if the second one would make any sense at all in this context I I don't know. Pretty much what we're trying to do, though, is we're trying to create one large label that anyone could search up, and then a bunch of, I guess, like, small... Yeah. Basically. Yeah, so... Like, I guess the specifics for people that so, want, like, a specific thing. There's no way I'm going to guarantee it's whether it's going to be on its own, you know, platform, or if it would be under a subsidiary of a larger company like Microsoft or something like that, or something more right. known or unknown, but in some form or way, we want it to exist and maybe buy out other companies if we get the finance in it, and to do such as something like that, so we have this huge business. <laughs> no, not as advanced as Disney. Disney could fucking buy out a whole film company. We probably wouldn't be able to buy out that much. Maybe but like we're, we're talking like level. we're talking like maybe. maybe taking like smaller YouTubers and like being able to not just YouTubers but maybe like expand off it. It's more like Twitch, YouTube, game industry, this industry. It's I think it's primarily just going to be the entertainment industry. And it's right. going to be like this giant globe of the all this YouTube stuff. Channel to like a full scale. Yeah, corporation like, maybe. Like, That's like terrifying. Um, not like 21st Century Fox, but like, uh, I can't think of any games off the top of my head, like Lionsgate or something like that, where like, they do more than just, or not, like Sony. Because Sony has a music branch, Sony has a, like a, like a video branch. Yeah, that Sony, like, that's, that's kind of close to what we're trying to go for. Yeah, so we would become, if it's successful, we'd be fucking set for life pretty much. <laughs> I know, dude, if we get this to blow up, like, oof. Imagine the potential we would have in, like, 30 to 40 years. Okay. <laughs> my, yeah. grandchildren's <laughs> children, my grandchildren's children would be able to wake up and not worry about anything. <laughs> we could do what our parents did not help us do. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like, roast? Maybe. I was like, my parents, so I needed to be an IT guy. I'm like, I don't, I do like IT, but like, honestly, the entertainment business just seems fun because like, it's doing whatever the fuck you feel like and getting paid for it. Yeah, that was a huge thing on something we didn't plan to talk about on here, but. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, I mean it, tie, it, it ties I into what we were talking about, though, you know. Daily. We were talking about Twitch Bridge, how it's going to move into the media label, but yeah. That's the whole summary Sorry. of our goal, so you basically got the whole, like, 
anyone who's listening to this, you actually have the fucking whole, whole vision we have from now to the end game of, not the end, like, end, end, like, we crash when it finally happens, but, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, the ultimate goal we're going for, <laughs> something big, we want to be, like, the American dream. I guess the best way to put it is when you hear a shout like right <clears throat> to be able to know it like right off the top of their head. Yeah. So, that's Shadowrun Productions, a huge project vision we have for the future. Which actually brings us into our next topic. The future. <laughs> 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 Not as distant, but age. That's ironic, we go from the fu far future to, <laughs> to this, the near future, but uh... Is that my near future? <laughs> the next thing we're gonna talk about is... What's currently our... Not distant future, but... What we're trying to get achieved... Real soon here, basically? This decade. Okay, yeah. The, the first so, thing is... Like, the first step in our mission is... We're building a community. That's what we're working towards. Uh, we're gonna finalize the structure of the West Brand Studios brand. So, I had like the three owners system where there's a creator owner where they focus on the content creators and Twitch streamers. Then there's the staff owner who <coughs> focuses on the more intern area of the crew. And then there's the more digital art slash creative area, which is similar to the content area, but they focus more on those were artists, and so the owner there would have to be an artist themselves, whereas the content, the creator owner, it has to be someone who's, Either you know... Either YouTube or is still doing YouTube. Yeah, so that's why Dan was the best candidate I put there, because we've been doing this for a while, so Dan knows what he's doing, he knows what to think, so he knows how to view things from the creator's like perspective. Detailed stuff, detailed stuff that would go towards us, but I'm, I'm good at being able to get people kind of laced up and ready to go. I'm at the wheel, the driver's seat, and then Dan's more of the making sure everyone's ready and shit. <laughs> yeah, I get you prepped, and then Wes is like, "Here we go." <laughs> I picture like Wes in the vehicle, and then Josh is like not fully ready yet, but he thinks he is, <laughs> and then he's like hanging on the back. Okay, <laughs> imagine, imagine a parachuting class. I'm the guy that sits <laughs> and I'm like, "You're gonna do great," and then Wes is the guy that pushes you out the door. And I'm the guy who forgets to do up the straps. <laughs> I'll put the wrong bag on. <laughs> yeah, Josh is the guy that's falling upside down with his backpack aimed towards the ground. His parachute gets tangled. The wrong bag on. I'm not lucky to put the wrong bag Oh, you said parachute. I thought you said pair of shoes. <laughs> well, at least it looks like a right splat. <laughs> so... Yeah, we got that from and then I didn't mention building the Discord, yeah, but basically we have a Discord server and that's kinda like our core place where we keep communication at. So if anyone's hearing this and you're you're not like you're not just going for a fan vision or the vision of being just a fan, you're seeing this and you're actually liking what we're going for, our whole vision, because we literally just spilled out our fucking vision from here to If you want <laughs> State it. If you want to be a doer, not a not a follower. Uh, yeah, if you want to be that, you could join the Discord. Maybe hit me up, Dana. That's your shot. Preferably okay. less first because I'm not good with new people. Yeah, just mainly aim for me, but you can go for Dan or Bad Josh if you're scared of me for some reason. <laughs> The best way to do it, though, is to go through Wes, then Wes will break it down for us, so then we know how to talk to you. I'll be the Basically, one who pings you the second like, you join the It kind of makes sense, because I'm, like, the captain. I know every area, so... Well, bro, if they tell me technically, if you want to break it, if you want to break it, it's, to it's your area. channel. Yeah. Basically, I'm at the... It's like a pyramid. I'm at the very top. You go to me, I'd put you into the direction, like, for example, if you stand the creator over. Well... Beatrix, the staff owner, and the, <coughs> owner, and the artist owner, where, wherever branch you would take you, and then they would take yeah, you to you... their person, etc. So, like a call center. 
<laughs> a call center. You know, you're calling for an issue with your device, and you're like, oh yeah, that's needed in this. Maybe you want to become a content creator. Maybe you want to become. Maybe you want to be. Maybe you want to be a staffer, intern, voice actor, networker. Who knows? So, you guys have any other future? Um, the future is near. The future is now. <laughs> I guess the best way to say it is the only way that we'll be able to reach the point where we can make high quality content and be able to do more stuff that you guys want is to have you guys build us up first. Because without resources, without people, without, you know, Without the tools you need to do something, you can't really do it. And I think that's where me and Wes have been struggling for so long, is this in the mind to do stuff, but we need the tools. Like, we're like carpenters without a hammer. Like, we can blueprint it out all we want. We can show you what it's going to look like on a digital program, but when you go tell us to build, we're like, we need tools. And that's kind of where we're sitting at. Yeah, I'm kind of looking at funding myself. Two video cards. One for the gameplay, one for editing. So, like, the NVIDIA Quadro is actually meant for editing. So, I've had issues where when I put too many effects onto the videos, I mean, it's really fucking weird. So, if I would get, like, these extra tools, such, you know, it should finalize my area. And slowly improve theirs as well once they get their tools. I don't know exactly. My, my tools is, I, I know what I need, but we won't right. be able to get it for a while. Okay. Fine, maybe I don't want to be part of the leaves. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> I know what I need, but that's going to take a while. So I'm probably going to try to work on projects that I can just kind of like I will do eventually, eventually set up I don't know. Oh, the, the members, yeah. No? That, oh, and the so robot. Except so that, you get your own emails when you get their channel. You get, you know, something happens to your name when you get things. Oh, right, okay, so so it's the YouTube members thing. If someone live streams and you, you get a different badge that kind of shows, like, I've been here since, like, day one, and then, like, Depending on how many months, like the badges change and stuff. The thing about it is, it's not just about registration. I looked into it, and you get, a, get, yeah, there's a lot of features. I was just certain, covering the live streaming stuff because that's what you're talking about. We can upload to the channel, and we would have uh, members only videos. So anyone who's paying to be a member can see the video. I'm not gonna be like. Oh yeah, let's take half the content and like put it feature, little, but make it more of like sketch. bonus content for this. So yeah. we would not change what we already make and publish, but it would be like additional content that we decide to say fuck it and make. Like skits and outtakes, that kind of thing. Yeah, and maybe and, and maybe if we eventually like move, like move into like an actual place, like like, in between shit, so, like, because I know there be some bullshit that happens in the background, <laughs> but it might be, like, a 15-second video of me, like, wheeling my chair over to Wes's, like, studio and, like, nail him in the back of my head with a Nerf gun. <laughs> like, that type of shit. The stuff, the stuff, that, the stuff that's just, like... Sword doesn't... fight incidents. No, that would get us banned. <laughs> but, no, I'm saying, though, uh... Like, just like stuff that wouldn't classify as enough to put into a video, but it's still content. I feel like that would be the stuff that like members would be able to see. It's just this fucking around in the background. Like when I released that video where I laughed because we got like sixty nine something, and I pointed it out. Like that type of stuff would go into like where the member stuff is. Just short extra bonus stuff, little inside jokes and that type of stuff. Like that clip of you lobbing a Christmas tree out the window. I'm sad. I had to replace that tree. The tree has been <laughs> the tree has been upgraded. Oh. If you lobbed that one out the tree window as well. Well, okay, let's. 
not a green tree with like a snow base anymore. It's just a white Christmas tree. Oh. It looks like a fucking toilet toilet bowl brush. <laughs> Suddenly, I don't know, so it's been otter, in part, through, but I think I'm going to next. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think this last topic is uh, technically a wrap-up, which we did partially a few months ago there. Um, so, I think we already had a call to action when we talked about joining the crew. But, an additional call to action is, if you're a fan and you want to support us in any form or any shape or any way, you can actually, there's a feature on YouTube where when you're on a video, you can go to, bring your mouse down to a section called share. You can click share, it gives you a link. You can share the videos you like to your friends and they can share it to their friends. And you kind of tell them, oh yeah, share it to your friend and maybe they're share it to their friends. And it's basically Dan's thing a while back he mentioned, I can't remember exactly what he called it. The friend system, I think. Oh, right, um, where if you share a video with somebody, they might share it and it will explode yeah. because, like, it will be passed on the line. Yeah. So, if you're a fan, supporter, friend, etc., please consider doing that. Um, the next thing I want to bring up is... I have a call to action, too, if it's okay. Alright. It, cool it was a cool if I do one. Wes? Have you guys heard of a game called Raid Shadow? I'm kidding. I'm not sponsored. Oh. <laughs> We're not sponsored. Fuck that. Alright, next. Uh, Josh, do you have a call to action? Nope. If I you feel like that's You can join the, shave, the Dollar Shave Club. I'm kidding. Just Jesus. fucking just throw. Please sponsor us. Get a Big Mac. Use code, we're like, not sponsored, no money. Yeah, I feel like that Josh's call to action would be some random screen. Smoke weed. So if you can buy my I'm trying uh, not to pen. say, if you subscribe, I'll mail you a code to get a... Uh, what was it called? A chicken sandwich for two quid. If you subscribe, you get a free engraving. Uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> That He'd be stuck in his fucking room for like hours. Hours? I would never leave again. You'd have to sit there and just keep. He just engraves all of the subscribers onto one giant plank. Oh, I actually could do that. No, there's 11.7 thousand views. Never mind. <laughs> if you subscribe, we slam your face. Actually, no, no, no. If you become a member, okay. if you become a member, that's what I'll do. I'll engrave your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. That's actually a great idea. You should take notes of that, Dan. Dan wasn't paying attention. <laughs> he missed my greatest moment. Did you moment. hear what Bad Josh suggested, Dan? Bruh, everything cut out. What just happens? Oh, okay. oh I missed my greatest moment. <laughs> Bad Josh came with the idea that he'll give people free engravings if they become YouTube members. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, that would be a pretty really nice. <laughs> Technically giving us money, so like... It's not free, but it is free. Yeah. It's free 99! So... <laughs> um... Next thing is... YouTube has been... Doing some funky stuff with their notification system, so... If you haven't paid attention to the last few years... You have to click on the notification bell next to the subscribe button to get notified for videos now. Why they did this, I have no fucking idea why they had to change the system when literally subscribe means you get the feed for that content and they don't let you get the feed for that content because they're... Okay. <laughs> calm. <laughs> okay, I'm calm. So, please click the bell. And, if you haven't already, please consider joining the Discord server. It's not super active currently, but we are still trying to make it, like, uh. uh. For a server to be active, it needs people. 
Yeah. yeah. So Please I, join. I'm fucking echoing my voice, by the way. Uh, no idea. And we thank you for watching this talk show. The next ones won't be as scripted. Um, I think we might do an interview. I think I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. Oh uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So I'll have to talk to the members to see who they want to be have interviewed. I don't know if I do bad jobs because bad jobs isn't really on plan yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to let me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to script my own interview. <laughs> so we could come up with maybe. I'll think about. I think Hidagi is the one that has it most planned. Lewis maybe. Wicker maybe. Bard. Bard. I have no idea. I haven't talked to Bard that much about. So thank you all for joining, or hope you all enjoy the podcast. Uh, I would say check out these guys' channels, but they're literally on the same channel. Check out our channel, but, uh, Westfront Studios. <laughs> yeah, check out Westfront Studios. Check out Westfront Studios, yeah! Thank you for tuning in. Oh, and, we'll and the links in the description. <laughs>